Hello class. All right, today we are going to have a lesson on pronunciation. First, who knows what short A sound is? Ah, good. You know any words with short with a short A A sound? Apple, hat, man. Very good. What is the long A sound? Good A. And what are some words with the long A sound? Let's see. Make, bake, late. Yes, very good. All right, what is short E sound? E. Good. What are some words with the short E sound? Elephant, pet, men, hen. Excellent. And the long E sound? Is e good? What are some words with the long e sound? Meat has a long e sound. Greet, seat, seed. Yeah, excellent job, guys. All right. What is the long or sorry, the short o sound? Ah, good. Can you tell me a few words with the short o sound? Sock, top, pot, excellent. And the long O sound? O, good. And what are some words with the long O sound? Home, dome, wrote, boat, excellent. And U, what is the short U sound? Up, good. Up, umbrella, mud, very good. And the long U sound is good. U. So, what are some long U words? Cube. Good. Uniform. Good. There are actually a couple of long U sounds, but let's, we'll, we'll go over that another time. All right, so we did A, B, O, U. And today, so our lesson for today is going to be on I. First, what's the short I sound? It. Good. Hid. Bit. Sit. Bin. Excellent. And the long I sound is I. So we are going to learn two different long I endings today. So the first one we will learn light. There are, and there are a few different spellings. Or it. And the other sound we'll learn is eyed. Eight. Eyed. So they are two very common and ending word ending sounds. So first, let's go and we'll think. I'm sure you guys know a lot of words with these sounds. So who's got some some words with these sounds? How about first it with I T E. Bite. Good. Bite. Excellent. Excellent. And what's another one? Does anyone? Might. Might. Might is, might is both. So there is this might, which is a little bug. And there is this might, which means maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know. I might. So that one is two. We call that a homophone. But we'll go over that another time. Another one? Sight. Sight is also. Sight also has both. So, sight is a place, and sight means our ability to see. I have good eyesight, good sight. I can see well. Light, another one. Light means kind of a smaller version a light version, 
or that light has a lot. The opposite of heavy, this is light, or I see the light. Yeah, very good. So, any more that you can think of? There's tons. I mean, sight, bite, my sight, light. Right, yeah. There are a lot of rights. Right? I, I write and write. My right hand and I am right. You are wrong. So a lot of these words really have a lot of different meanings. So all of these words rhyme. When a word has the same ending sound, it means it rhymes. And that is very important. When do you hear a lot of rhymes? Good, in poems, yes. So today, we're gonna, we'll do a lot of other stuff first, but at the end of class today, you are going to need to write a poem that has rhyming, rhyming words. Well, I'll give you some examples later, but you're gonna need to rhyme some two i words and two i words. So, here's, I know there's a lot more, we'll go over some more later, but, um, We'll get some I, some I words. So first, I D E. Ride, yeah, like ride a bike. Side, like my side. Tide, tide, like the ocean, the shore, the tide. What's another one? Hide. Hiding. Hide. Good. And what about IED? IED, a lot of times it's the past tense of a verb that ends in Y. So, cried. <laughs> cried, I cried. Tried, I tried, I failed, but I tried. I lied, I did not tell the truth. Fried, like cooking, when you cook something, fried. All right, so that's a that's good for now. We'll we'll talk about some more later. There there are really a ton. So it is really important to be able to pronounce I and I, I and I, pronounce the words correctly and be able to hear the difference. So what we will do first, I will say the words, you repeat, and then after that, we're gonna get out. You're gonna get out a piece of paper, and I will say different words. And then I want you to write down so that I know that you understand what you're hearing and can, under, can identify what you're hearing. Then I will say some full sentences and you will copy down the full sentences. And then we've got some more activities after that. And then finally at the end, we will, you will write poems. All right, but don't worry, we'll get to that later. So first, I want you guys to repeat after me. Thanks.